Okay, now you might have recently bought a brand new Samsung Galaxy Watch. It may be Galaxy Watch Ultra, Galaxy Watch 7, or any of the predecessors like the Galaxy Watch 5 series, 4 series, or 6 series. And you might want to know some battery saving tips for these watches. In this video, I'm gonna share some important tips for you guys to save or conserve the battery on your Galaxy Watch. I will be sharing more than 15 tips, so stay tuned and keep watching the video. Okay, now for those of you who own a Galaxy Watch LTE variant, here's the first tip for you guys. Now, when you go to the settings and tap on connections, you just scroll all the way down, you will see mobile network. Now, make sure you set this to auto. If you set it to always on, then the watch is going to consume a lot of battery because the network will be always on, the 4G LTE will be always on, and it will not be taking the calls or messages or notifications through the phone. It will directly receive the calls and messages and it will act as an independent mobile phone. So make sure you select the mobile networks to auto. That is the first step. Now, if you have been using the watch for some time now, just go to the settings and tap on battery. Now here, scroll all the way down, you will see battery usage option. Tap on that. Now here, you might want to take a look at how is your watch performing in terms of battery usage by the applications. And if there is any abnormal consumption uh, by any of the applications, you can probably uninstall or disable that particular application. You can see here uh, under battery usage option, I'm able to see internet uh, browser is consuming a lot of battery, Samsung Health, One UI Watch Home, Reminder, Modes and Routines, ultra analog watch face and all other applications. I can see all the applications battery consumption right here. And these are system applications which are consuming the battery on my watch, so this is normal. But if you have installed any third party applications and if those are consuming a more amount of battery, then they will show up right here and you will be able to see which apps are consuming more battery and you can disable it. Now in one of my previous videos, I did discuss that the WhatsApp application consumes a lot of battery. It consumes more than 15 to 20% of the total battery consumption. So make sure you disable your WhatsApp on the watch. I don't suggest you to use WhatsApp application, which is an independent app for the Galaxy watches. That consumes a lot of battery. You anyways get the notifications from WhatsApp on the watch. You can directly reply it uh, from the watch. You don't really need uh, the application, the WhatsApp application itself to be installed on the watch. So uh, you can go ahead and uninstall it. It consumes a lot of battery. So make sure you check the battery usage on your Galaxy watch so that you know which app you need to restrict or uninstall. Next, there's one more important important settings you need to check under battery, that is the sleeping applications. Now you see when I tap on this, it says sleeping applications will run in the background only occasionally, notifications may be delayed. Now there are a bunch of watch faces which I have downloaded and there is this calm application and a few more watch faces here. All of them are sleeping, even the Google wallet is sleeping, I don't use this. Uh, but looking at this list, you will be able to figure out which applications are sleeping and which you don't use. You can go ahead and uninstall them because if you keep them on the watch, they might occasionally run in the background. So just uninstall them if you don't use them. Next, on the settings menu, you have got this option, modes. Now these mode options are directly linked to your phone. Any modes you enable on the watch will enable the mode on the phone as well. Now the most important mode here to save some battery is sleep mode. Now you see we have got uh, an option here to turn it on. While sleeping, make sure you turn on the sleep mode on the watch because when you turn this on, the raise to wake feature will not work. And during sleep, whenever you lift your hand, the watch's display will not turn on. So turn on the sleep mode, it reduces the brightness. At the same time, the screen wake up will be turned off. It does not let the screen turn on during your sleep. So this is another important feature you need to turn on for saving some battery during night. All right, now the next one is very important. This is with respect to saving some battery while tracking your sleep. Now by default, the watch will track your sleep when you're wearing it during the night. So here is some settings that you need to change with regard to sleep tracking. Let me open the uh, Samsung Health application. Let me go all the way down. Here, let me tap on settings. Now here you see when I scroll down, we've got the sleep option. Let me tap on this. Now this is where you can turn off a couple of features if you do not want to use them every night. Now you can see while sleeping, it measures the blood oxygen during sleep and snoring detection, skin temperature during sleep. Now these features you may not need every night uh, you may not want to detect the blood oxygen during sleep every night or screen temperature during sleep every night and uh, snow detection also you may not need every night. So you can turn off all these features to save a lot of battery. Now a lot of you guys experience uh, the battery drain during the night. Uh, that is mainly because the sleep tracking involves the blood oxygen during sleep measurement and the skin temperature during sleep also is being measured. 
while you're wearing the watch in the night. Of course, these are useful, but you may not need this every night. You know, if you're not well, you can track this, or if you want to track this for a couple of days in during a week, you can do that. But every night, these features are not needed. Go ahead, just turn them off. Next, we do have universal gestures feature on the Galaxy Watch, which enables us to use the watch in one hand. Uh, and this feature may be uh, useful for some of you guys, but all of you may not need it. If you have enabled universal gestures on your Galaxy Watch, you may want to turn it off because it might be consuming some amount of battery whenever you use these gestures. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, do try, do uh, turn off the universal gestures. It might help as well. Next. We have got the power saving mode option on the Galaxy Watch, which all of us know, but there is an additional setting under power saving mode, which is going to be very, very useful to conserve or to save a lot of battery beyond what the power saving mode itself could save. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on battery. Now here you see, if I enable power saving mode, it's going to restrict uh, the wake up gesture Always on display will be turned off. Wi-Fi will be turned off. It limits the CPU performance, background network usage, location and syncing. It decreases the brightness and screen timeout. Now, right below that, we've got an option, limit health features. Now, this is a wonderful option provided by Samsung on the Galaxy Watches to conserve more battery when you're on power saving mode. Now, by default, even when you're on power saving mode, all the health centric features will be running in the background, which consumes battery. But with this all new option, we can save more battery by limiting all the health features. All you need to do is just open this up, turn this on. It says when power saving is on, the features below are turned off to save even more battery. Workout auto detection, high and low heart rate alerts, background heart rate, HRV, stress, skin temperature, and blood oxygen measurements. All this will be turned off and you can enable this feature only if you do not want these features to be running in the background. So occasionally you can turn this feature on if the watch is running out of juice and if you need uh, the watch to run for a few more hours or maybe uh, an additional day, then you can turn this feature on. Next, here are some basic uh, steps that you need to take to save some battery. You can go to settings and go to display and uh, set the display to adaptive brightness. This is going to save some battery. Then we have got always on display. You can turn this off to save a lot of battery because the always on display consumes a lot of battery. So if you want the watch to run for more than one and a half to two days, then you need to turn off the always on display. I know all of us prefer having the always on display on the watch. It shows off those beautiful looking uh, watch faces to others who are sitting around you. Uh, however, if you want to save battery, then you need to turn this feature off. Next, I want you guys to make sure that you don't have too many applications running in the background. Now, you, when you go to the app tray, you see this top uh, icon here. This is the recent app icon. You see there are many recent applications which are running in the background. This may also consume some battery. This will be sitting in the RAM and it might run in the background. So all you need to do is just uh, go to the recent application, tap on close all to clear all the applications. This might also save some battery. Next, go to the settings. Tap on device care here. Now you see we've got battery, storage, and memory. Now here also, I would suggest you guys to go and check your memory and clear the memory uh, once in a while. If not every day, at least I would suggest you to clear the memory once in a while. This keeps the phone running smoothly. At the same time, it may also save some battery. Next, of course, you need to keep all the uh, health centric features manual. But yeah, if you're someone who want to track your heart rate and a few other uh, health centric features continuously, then you can keep that on. But if you're not doing that, if you're not continuously measuring all these health metrics, then all you need to do is just go to the settings and set heart rate and stress measurements to manually only. So that's something to note here. All right, now the next thing you want to do is set the right watch face for your Galaxy Watch. Now the watch faces which are available by default are the best watch faces to set because these are created by the OEMs and optimized well for the watch, uh, the Galaxy Watches. So uh, third party watch faces with uh, bigger sizes may consume more battery. You can check that in the app usage uh, on the settings. Uh, so all you need to do is just set up the watch face which are available by default and also turn that watch face into dark mode. You see, this is an info, information dashboard watch face that I have and I have turned this into dark mode. All you need to do is just go to customize. Now here you've got background colors. Now you see the default color is something like this and this is going to consume some amount of battery because uh, the background is not, not in dark mode. Uh, so all you need to do is just uh, go to the top one here. This is the dark uh, background. You can select this color and uh, you're good to go. So this might also save some battery because the background is completely dark and we have got a few colored uh, elements over here. And this is one of the best watch faces by Samsung uh, we ever had. It uh, provides all the information. We have got a good number of complications. We have got date, day and month, uh, the clock, the steps, 
the weather information, the UV index, sunrise, sunset time, the compass is live on the watch face. Uh, we've got this weather info here and we also have heart rate. So it's a lot of information that we can uh, have on this watch face. So you can go ahead and set this watch face with the dark background, which is really good. Next, if you have turned on the vibration on the watch, then you can turn it off if you don't really need it. Uh, but some of us may need it for the wake up alarms and for the notifications and calls. You can turn it off if you don't need these vibrations on the watch. That might also save a tiny bit of battery here. Now these are some important tips for you guys to uh, save or conserve some battery on the Galaxy watches and extend the battery performance by a few more hours. Now you guys let me know if you have any other additional tips you can uh, let us know in the comment section that would definitely benefit the community and you may also let us know the battery performance on your Galaxy watch. Let me know the model of your Galaxy watch or any other Android watches that you're using and share the battery performance results in the comment section that would be really useful. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this video drop a comment uh, hit the like button if you find this video useful and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about your galaxy watches samsung galaxy phones and anything related to tech be sure to subscribe that's about it you guys take care and stay safe my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye